Kia ora guys and welcome back to my little channel. Now I've always been a fan way back and, and to the present day of very heavy contrast in black and white photography. For me it's got that sort of hard edge, atmosphere, a bit of authenticity about it and I, I just love it. Now I've been playing about with the X-Pro 2, done some black and white photography with it, quite enjoyed that. I saw a video a couple of weeks back by a very famous YouTuber, I'm not going to say his name because I'm not going to try and grift off his, off his name, I'll put a link to his channel below, you'll all know it. Go give him a watch, he's, he's fantastic. One or two of his episodes have been about infrared photography, in particular infrared black and white photography. Now years and years and years ago I tried infrared black and white photography, a roll of 35mm IR film and to be honest I, I went out and I played about, I came back with the results and to be honest it, it was garbage, absolute garbage, it was just I couldn't tell any difference between a, a roll of normal black and white film and the black and white IR film and it cost me a bloody fortune to sort out so yeah I, I kind of give that up. Now years later, years and years later I found out that I needed one of these, an infrared filter to put on the lens to make the IR film work. Now I'm not even going to try and pretend to know what I'm talking about when it comes to IR photography. All I know is that there is visible light and invisible light and to block the visible light you've got to put a filter on, an IR filter on your lens or get a camera that is converted to the infrared spectrum. Look I'm brand new to this IR photography obviously. All I can tell you is that I'm enjoying it, it's pretty cool. I bought this cheap as chips little IR filter, I had to get a step up ring that goes from 23 millimeters to 55 millimeters because that's the size of the IR filter that I bought because I couldn't get one any smaller to fit the lens. It now fits seamlessly like that. We're in the middle of winter, this is generally traditionally our worst month July and to be honest with you it's pretty crusty out there, it's just a mess, we've got a bit of sunshine, a lot of showers, it's cold, it's, it's pretty snotty to be fair. It's not a great time for IR photography because you want the you want the high intense sun burning down its ultraviolet rays which will then be blocked out by the infrared filter and it just makes everything pop. I've not got that obviously because uh, the weather's pretty pants so I've not let that bother me, I've just got outside and done my thing and, and then just tried this thing because why not? I'm encouraged, I'm incredibly encouraged, incredibly pleased with the photographs I've got so far in these conditions with this little kit. Now if you look through the viewfinder with this filter on you can't see jack, it's pitch black, you can't see a thing, it's so dense. This is a 760 nanometer IR filter, you can get various ones, this is the highest one apparently. Again I stand to be corrected, that's what the seller told me when I bought it, it just came as IR filter and they told me that it was a 760 nanometer. Okay fair enough we'll go with that. Thankfully with these mirrorless cameras you can switch on live view, the display on the back and then you can see absolutely everything that you want to see through there, you can pose your image. Because the filter's on there you have got an extended exposure time. So I've been sitting on a tripod, sticking a cable release in there and firing off. It's a little bit of trial and error, I'm averaging between sort of I don't know 18 and 45 seconds depending on the time of day and the intensity of light. You just keep looking on the back and seeing if it needs a bit more exposure, a bit less exposure and just adjust it like that. The beauty of a converted camera is that you don't need to do that, you just look, you take your shot, you walk away, no problem whatsoever. That's something potentially, let's not say potentially, that's something I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm loving this <laughs> and, and uh, why not get a camera that's converted or convert one of my own cameras, we'll see. Trust me, if I can do it guys, anybody can do this. Get out there, find some shots, play, enjoy yourselves. Alright guys, hope you enjoy the photographs I've got out of this so far, come the decent weather, come the summer. I'll be out there cracking off some more shots, IR photography, I'm enjoying it. Cheers guys, thanks for watching, till next time, laters. Woo, good timing.